Good afternoon. Um, today I've uh, decided I'll uh, show you one of my electric locomotives. It's a Deutsche Bahn. It's a 144, class 144. And um, this particular locomotive is a Fleischmann. I've got some doubts about that because it actually says made in Austria underneath. But it looks like a Fleischmann. So that's, uh, I'm not too sure about the pedigree of this one. It's got the uh, Fleischmann couplings. Uh, maybe I should have researched it a bit better, but uh, anyway, someone might know anyway. Good question of the day. Because there's uh, no Fleischmann stamp on the bottom, so. A bit weird. Very nice locomotive. The, uh, the top, you can see the pantographs. They work, but I, I just don't have, operate them because uh, it just wears the springs out unnecessarily. And uh, we can see the insulators up there, the Kaolin. Made it all work. Very nice locomotive. Anyway, I'll just show you quickly the work. Oh, these are uh, prehistoric uh, Fleischmann covered wagons. They're uh, looking like uh, they're made out of uh, cellulite or bakelite. You can see they're a bit warby, but I really like them. They come up well. Cleaned them up a bit. This one was covered in in black paint, like someone had uh, tried to wear it and make it look really dirty. But I've managed to take most of it off. I might just leave it looking like that, it looks alright like that. We got another covered wagon. Um, what we got there? It's an Italian. It's an Italian covered wagon, so there you go. Make new discoveries every day. And here's another one. mineral wagons, these are made out of uh, pressed tin, you can probably see that, Get two of those, a very prehistoric shell, or oh, sorry it's an SO, standard oil, and a BP, and an Arl, little flat wagon there and that is a kid made carriage that someone made that uh, it, this all came in one lot when I bought these carriages so luck is almost giving them away so I bought them it makes a nice break anywho I'll just uh, get rid of this uh, round table and uh, We'll get things running. So here we are, we're back on. I'll, see, uh, I'll try and show you how smooth these can be. Here we go. And just hit a dead spot. That's not fair. Of course it would. Try again. Beautiful. This is a pretty heavy rake. This locomotive it doesn't handle it beautiful. Oh, okay. I'll just have to stop for a second. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, these couplings, the shanks on them, are so long that they catch in the points of my points here on the corner. Actually, they catch a lot of the train set, so. I'll just um, temporarily just hook that up a bit so it's out of the way so that we can uh, start again. Sorry about that. I didn't want to cut the shank off because it's required in the operation of the uh, of the um, couplers. 
You need that white. I'll just have to just pretend that piece of tin is not there in the front. I couldn't find anything else to jack it up at the moment. And now we've got another there. Uh, okay, now we're going. We'll give it a bit of a speed, blow out the cobwebs, see what happens. Hasn't been a good start so far, sorry about that. You have those days. Uh, you see, it's just clear it beautifully now. I just cleaned the motor, the wheels, everything, serviced it. So that it would uh, So that it would run smooth. And I was hoping for a good run, but maybe I should have cleaned the track. Look at that. It's that bit of timber didn't work. I'll just fix it again. I just realised I hadn't pushed the play button again, so I have no idea. I've been talking for the last 10 minutes and <laughs> <coughs> not recorded a thing. So anyway, you've seen that one. We'll catch up with this one. This one, uh, same logo, just different pantographs. And uh, this is a rake of carriage that I've just purchased. I'll just show you how she runs. This is smooth. This carriage is a whip. It cost me a bit too, about 120 bucks. I'm staying on farm and Facebook. Oh, I'm not going They look pretty nice. Lights flick a bit, but you know. That was the technology of the time, I suppose, when he's running. I'll so get this one running again, man. Running around again. Let me see how I'm starting. I don't like those carriages. Coaches. They're Fleischmann too, by the way, I meant to say that. So there we go. Oh, and just in case, I did show this, well, I thought I showed this while the video was recording, but it may not have. Um, this is a Primex. I think it's an E34, 35. Hang on, I've got the paperwork here, I've got to tell you. Oh, sorry, it's a 3187, that was the number of it. So it's a wasn't even watching what I was filming then, sorry. It's all in German but from what I can see. Uh E thirty two. And uh from what I can see it's uh the Deutschen Reichsbahn. It might be Bayern or Bayerish, whatever that is, and uh, the other was for uh, the Bundesbahn. 
but um, yeah, it's a got the lemur cup on, so I don't have anything on there to run that at the moment, but I will. But um, this is the Primex is the railroad railroad quality, I suppose. Cheaper, affordable, but still looks nice. Alright, I'll catch up with you later, eh? See you later.